We're planning to do some artificial insemination. And the first thing we're going to do is implant the cedars. This morning we've got five does called in our catch pen. And it's uh, an acronym CIDR for Controlled Intervaginal Drug Release Device. And our supplies are, I just brought some flushable wipes that we can wipe the vulva off with. We want to be kind of clean. It's not a sterile technique, but we will do that. Uh, some lubricating jelly, which is used just for ease of insertion and to be a little bit kinder to the dough. Uh, we, of course, got some gloves, rubber gloves. And that is because this, uh, these cedars contain progesterone, which is a hormone, and you don't want it uh, on your hands because it will absorb through the skin. And then the applicator or the gun is what we use to insert. Good girl. That's a good girl. Come on. Come on. Oh. I was telling her. Easy. Easy. Oh. She doesn't hurt you. No, she ain't hurt me. Here, let's go. Oh. Here. Here. Come on. Let me just get a hold of you. Come on. So I want to show you this cedar. It's got a tail on it. Uh, a lot of sheep people, they clipped the end of the tail off because they said that knot will get caught in uh, the wool on the sheep. But for goat producers, they don't do that very much. This folds together like this. And then when you put it in the applicator, it holds it like that. You push it into the vaginal wall or the vault and then it opens up and it just prevents it from coming out. And then in 14 days, we'll pull it out. So that's how that works. You can see that it has a slot right here. You wanna insert it like this, close those wings down. And you want those wings to open up left and right, not up and down. And then the tail just here. Then we'll take a little bit of lube Take a little bit of lubricant, put on the end. So now our application gun is ready. We'll lay it down. We'll get us just a uh, wipe here. Grab our horns there, Dad. Just kind of pull her up in that corner. Let her, let her front feet sit on the ground. Like I say, this is not a sterile technique. One thing that you need to know is when you start in, you wanna go at about a 30 degree angle upward, 30 to 40 degrees. And the reason for that is the bladder and the urethra sets on the bottom of that vaginal wall. And you don't wanna insert this into the urethra. Probably more than likely impossible, but you'll miss that and take that risk away if you'll insert it at about a 30 degree angle. All right. All right, so I've cleaned the vulva, and the vulva is right below the rectum. I'm gonna insert a little twist, 30 degree angle, push it all the way up to this part here. Pull it out, and now you can see the little, you can see the little tail hanging out. That's done, that's all that needs. And turn her loose. Yep, just turn her loose, run her out. and we'll run her out. Stay down there lower and I'll, I'll run them. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. A little explanation of why we're doing this this morning is we're planning to do some artificial insemination. We'll put a different straw on each one of those five does. We'll have a vet coming to do that and we can increase the diversity of our bloodlines in our herd. And some of those, uh, some of the bloodlines that we've chosen to use will match well and pair well with the bucks that we own. First thing, wipe, lift the tail, and just clean off the vulva.
and lift the doe's tail. Take a little bit of the lube that's left, rub it on the vulva. And we'll take the application gun, hold it flat. We will... I hadn't even touched it. We'll insert at a 30 degree all the way to the end. Push, let it out. And then you just see the little string there that hangs out at the end. That's how we remove it when it gets time. I done got one. Here, let's go. Come on. Good girl. You're sweet. I wish they was all like you and just walk where you wanted them to. Take the applicator, 30 degree angle, which prevents you going into the urethra. We squeeze the applicator closed, come out, leaves a little tail hanging out to remove it from. Let's go. Yep. So this is just gonna help us at the ground level, build our bloodline diversity, add some of the characteristics and things that we want into our herd, like growth rate, size, and of course we want number one, uh, parasite resistance. So that is why we're doing this. That's why we're going through this process. Today's just the first part. So there'll be a two or three set video on how this works. So guys, thanks for watching. As always, we'll do it all again tomorrow and hope you understand why we're doing some of this artificial insemination and artificial breeding.